Hey guys, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> um, so I did actually record a video earlier, but that is not going to be uploaded today. So today's video is going to be a continuation of my view of my Venus series, okay? Yeah, I know. I'm wearing makeup while I'm at home. Yeah, I don't do stuff like that because I never wear makeup when I'm at home. But um, I was doing this this thing which I needed to wear makeup for. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, and it's, I needed it to look somewhat professional, you know, presentable. But anyway, guys, so <laughs> what am I saying? I'm also trying to like regain some peace and some sanity because I'm feeling hot. The weather here is horrendous. I am hot. I am irritated. I am moody. So I'm trying to just regain some sanity and some clarity and some peace okay okay now I feel better this morning I felt like a hammer hit my head and I was about to kill a bitch but now I'm okay now I'm good so anyway guys continuation of my Venus series I'm literally coming at you every day with new videos. Um, I don't know if I should do that every day, but it helps. And I like to talk to myself with a camera so I don't feel like alone, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> so, what sign are we doing today? What vibes are we feeling today, guys? Um, for my next video, my next Venus video, please let me know what sign you want me to do next. I don't want to decide, okay? Let me know in the comments, oh, do this sign next. Oh, do that sign next. Yeah, then I'll do that sign. But for now, I'm just going to go with what I feel because that's how I live my life. I, I get guided my, by my intuition and I just go with what I feel because... Yeah, anyway, so today I'm feeling, I did, a, I did Aquarius, I did Taurus, what do you want me to do guys, I can't decide, like I don't know what I'm feeling, so can I feel a million different things at once, is that possible? very confusing I'm a very confused person I'm an extremely confused person how do I deal with it I don't deal with it this is why I make YouTube videos um. <laughs> that's how I deal with it I make YouTube videos <laughs> Let's do an, uh, a fire. No, I already did a fire sign. Oh, I did Aries. I did Aquarius. I did Taurus. Let's do Libra. Oh, hey. 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 My beautiful Libras. Hey. Welcome. I'm so sorry it took me so long to decide. But anyway. So we are doing Libra today. Venus in Libra. The beautiful goddess of nature and 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 flowiness and gorgeousness just gorgeous people in general okay just gorgeous that's all I can say my dad was a Libra and even though he was an asshole not because he was a Libra he was just an asshole because of his life but and because of what he, what he went through in life but other than that he was a gorgeous person he was a very good looking guy very good looking guy even Halsey, Halsey, my, one of my favorite singers, musicians, is a, a Libra and she is the goddess. 
that tall, lean, skinny body that we all want. But no, we can't have it. Okay, because only Libras are blessed with such gorgeousness. <laughs> it's not fair. But anyway, hi guys. Um, <laughs> so we're doing Venus in that sign today. And I just want to talk about the airy, flowy, light goddess element of it and how it can affect you if you have this placement or if you have like, this is only for Venus in Libra. This is not for Venus ascendant. This is not, I mean, Venus ascendant, wow, wow, guys. This is not for ascendant, sun, moon, Mars. This is only for Venus, okay? Maybe sun can listen to this video as well, but more Venus, okay? Now, this is the home. Taurus and Venus in Taurus and Venus. Wow, guys, I am no, just... Please mind me today, please. Venus <laughs> in, the, in the sign of Taurus and Libra is the nature of these signs. Very feminine, very uh, womanly, if not, if, if it's a guy, very like, like, like feminine, but like in a, in a, in a manly way. And like I personally love feminine guys because I'm a, I'm a more of a masculine person. But anyway, I'm just saying. Um, so a very like, um, like flowy and just like go with the flow of things. Um, I feel like in relationships you may, have a str you may have struggles like to make up your mind in a sense because like maybe you attract and you're so flirtatious so you attract so many people but which one do you want you don't know you don't know which one you want very intellectual um you have that philosophical way about you it's actually so inspirational to some people but um, as some of you tend to be preachers and can be over the top about it sometimes i mean my grandfather is also a libra I don't mind it. I like it. He's like always preaching and teaching me philosoph philosophical things. Like I personally like it. I'm not going to complain about it. But for people who don't like it, uh, you need to like understand where they're also coming from. Um, <clears throat> yeah, my grandfather and my father are both Libras. <laughs> my mom's a Virgo. Um, yeah, my grandmother which is my dad's mother is a Scorpio. My other grandmother, who is a late grandmother, is a Capricorn. I know, I have weird shit going on in my family here. We're all kinds of fucked up. We're all kinds of fucked up, guys. But it's interesting. You must actually know this about your family heritage and about your family line. It's interesting, in a sense, you know? It's so interesting. So anyway very flowy and just so beautiful so gorgeous just so gorgeous <laughs> please i don't know what's wrong with me today let me drink some water My battery is low already. Yes. Um, you have a very like romantic and traditional approach to love. Not in the same sense of the Taurus traditional approach to love. In the sense of you want that family life. You want the husband. You want the kids. You want to settle down. You want to get married. You know, you want that traditional thing. You want that perfect... Um, um, partner but not in the same sense of a venus and pisces like a venus and pisces would want like a prince charming fairy tale thing you more in the sense of you want your you know your king to come save you and you just want to be like swept off your feet so romantic but like so like cute you know very cute people okay very cute and i appreciate this because i i, I do like libras 
they're very sweet people but why do you disappear on me i'm not even going to ask why you disappear on me because i have i've had libra friends and they all just disappear on me and i'm just like okay i'm left in the dirt again but it's okay because i'm just living my life anyway so what i'm saying is so sweet just so fucking sweet <laughs> you know what i notice about libra libra placements with my, with my, with my gemini placements so my lilith and rising is gemini and i tend to attract people in my life which have their lilith in gemini i mean their lilith in libra and it's weird because a lot of people in my life have their, have their lilith in libra like my mom and i feel like we're so similar in a way and it's kind of scary it's like shit okay okay but even friends that i've had before had their lilith in libra i don't know why i'm talking about lilith because we're talking about venus and libra but anyway it's okay so many of my friends had their lilith in libra and i always tend to attract lilith in libras i don't know why okay no i do kind of know why but why why <sighs> but anyway <laughs> Oh, Lilith and Leo as well. Ooh, that that one's that one's, but that one's very hard to pin down. Mm. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. But a lot of you need to need to need to not try to not try to get easily influenced, especially romantically, by <clears throat> you're very idealistic. So don't get too influenced by, like, another person's... Like, let's say you meet a guy. Okay, you like the guy, but you meet someone else. He's like, ooh, he's so like, ooh. But then you can't decide now which one do you want. Which one is going to, like, ooh. But you're still out here flirting with other guys because you're so alluring. And you just have to, like, pop out the tit because you just need to pop out the tits. Because why not? <laughs> Even though you have two guys on the list. You still need to pop out the tits and just charm your way through things. Very charming, very magnetic like that. It's very sexy though, but not like in an erotic or like sexual way. It's sexy in like a, like a, like a, I don't know how to explain it. Like a, oh, look at me. Come get me. Oh, you have a wife. Oh, but like, oh, come to my room any day, you know. <laughs> but you're joking though. Like it's. I'm laughing but that yeah it's it's very funny uh yeah it's very very funny but yeah but it's very indirect it's not like direct flirtatiousness like a venus and aries like me i will flirt with you directly and flirt with you in front of everyone and flirt with you in front of the guy that i'm dating because i can because i can do whatever the fuck i want but with Venus and Libra, it's different. You're just like, no, I don't want, I don't, I don't know, no one's going to know shit. I'm just going to, like, you know, pop out the tits and just be like, ooh, hey, daddy, how you doing? You know, <laughs> it's like, fine. <laughs> but it may not be like this for all Venus and Libras, okay? I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, very flirtatious like that. Um, very fun, just like light and flirty. Uh you know, so cute, you just need to, um, typical, you want to go on, you know, you want to meet a man, you want to go, or let's, let's just talk from a male perspective, like, my dad is just obsessed with, like, marriage, and getting married, and being with someone, and just being in a relationship, so you guys are like, like that, it's like, you guys want to be in relationships, and his Venus is also in Libra, he's a Libra, but his Venus is also Libra, so he's, like, obsessed with, like, okay, I need to be with someone. I need to get married. I want to. Ha- I want to settle down. I want to have this life. You know. I just want to love. <laughs> you know. And um, yeah, it's very, it's very cute. But he's oh, very, very charming people. Hey, They're very cool, laid back. Like a lot of guys I know that have that are Libras and have their Venus in Libras. It's just like so. Ugh. Ugh. I can't find the words, so I'm just saying. Ugh. <laughs> yeah uh yeah very uh just laid back and flirty so fucking charming it's kind of scary sometimes because you can you literally manipulate people with that charm 
and then people that are like naive will just be like is this person being for serious but you're not being serious you're just like i don't know i don't know (laughs) but yeah (laughs) these libras hey guys you know you guys are just some other gorgeous ethereal goddesses that (sighs) you know you know who is also what is this youtuber that i am obsessed with Claire Nakti. She does Vedic astrology though. How beautiful is that chick? Oh my, I'm like, I can't. I, I just, no, she's just a wow. She, yeah, yeah. That's what, I'm, that's what I mean by Libra. That's what I mean by fucking Libra. Claire Nakti is just gorgeous of all gorgeousness. And it's not fair, okay? <laughs> but anyway, it's okay. We are all, you know, doing our own thing. We all have our own unique shit going on okay (laughs) but anyway (laughs) yeah um yeah romantic um too like two-sided in the sense of you don't pick sides so you kind of just like go with the flow of things but very influenced very easily influenced by other people so if you're caught up in a situation where you have to decide between two guys, I'd give you I'd recommend you just like don't choose any of them. Just just don't. Just don't. You like classic people. You like people that dress classy. You like um that perfect looking, clean cut person. Especially with females. You like your gentlemen. You like your guys to be clean cut and nice like, you know, the hair shaved and the whatever and in a nice suit or whatever i think that's what a female libra a venus and libra would like a male um venus and libra would like a woman who looks very uh um what's the word what is the word that i'm trying to find in my head right now to find this word you can just forewind the video while I'm trying to find this word I think Venus and Libra men like chicks who are like or like women that are kind of like the opposite of them but they also like their women to like look good and you know um they just go with whatever they don't necessarily have a type a specific type but they like their women to look good you know be like um clean cut as well i think yeah yeah i'm just i don't know i yeah i know this i think because i'm just thinking about all the chicks my dad used to date um very generous giving and nurturing woman he used to date like my mom but i'm thinking about all his girlfriends after that when they went together huh yeah very nice you know he dated very generous woman very nurturing woman very giving so i think a libra male would would look for that in a partner but it doesn't have to be like that for all libra venus males (coughs) but yeah that's that's what i'm saying philosophical you very if you're not philosoph- you're very religious i think you like your religion um <clears throat> i think you like to have your 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 belief system and structure in a specific religion i think that brings you a peace of mind but also having that very open-minded philosophical approach to things so even though you can have a uh, um a chosen religion that that gives you your own peace you also like to have that open-minded approach of oh but what about this oh but what about that it's very interesting it's very fucking interesting i can have like such cool intellectual debates with libras 
and they're so sweet they just do nice things for you but all air signs are like that hey i mean every air sign that i've encountered in life which is so fucking sweet they just do nice things for you but then the only thing they do is that they ghost and <laughs> they disappear that's the only thing <laughs> that that that's bad that like that i would consider bad or that i would consider not pleasant that they do um i am kind of guilty of this but um that's that's a thing that's that's an air sign nature though you know they all do it unless you know you find a way to like keep them but if they're gonna go they're gonna go they're gonna live their lives but yeah 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 just sweep them off their feet you know sweep a libra off their feet show them how a queen should be treated how a goddess how a god how a king how a prince should be treated okay okay yeah i think like male libras are like princes you know but they're very vain i must admit libras are very vain people but i think i think it's okay because what's wrong with being vain i myself am extremely vain there's nothing wrong with being vain okay accept your gorgeousness appreciate that gorgeousness shit you have going on guys you guys are beautiful okay i yeah i've just been blabbing on with different shit now i'm not even like i think i kind of went off topic a little bit i'm so sorry <sighs> but anyway <laughs> oh, i'm going to go now thank you for watching i don't know if i should say something because sometimes i like rewatch my videos and i'm just like oh i should have said that oh i should have said this or i should have said that oh my god okay then you know yeah 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 so you guys are amazing people just try to um you know i don't know i don't know what advice to give you guys but yeah um yeah yeah a little bit manipulative very manipulative Ooh, it's kind of scary sometimes but it's all right <sighs> the player knows how to play the game so charming bruno mars guys cardi b um these are sun sign libras though halsey uh what else are we talking about? Um, if you can come up with a celebrity who is a sun sign Libra, just put that in the comments below because I can't decide right now. I can't think about it. Like, it's just too much. There's so much going on in my head right now. <sighs> Venus, Venus, Venus. Aphrodite, my goddesses. Oh, gorgeous. I think I've been i said that a million times but it's true okay i'm not gonna deny that okay there was a guy i dated or had a fling with for like two months who was like a libra oh oh you know just so charming and there's just like it's like you live in the, like a little fantasy land with them it's like a little like imagine like you go into like a fairy tale garden and like your little picnic like sh like vibes like vibes like that with the flowers around you oh it's just like it's so pretty they're just pretty people from the inside and out they're just pretty people okay just you have to they're very devoted they're very true they're very loyal but only if you can find a ground with them only if you know how to keep them so yeah hmm. thank you for watching I'm going to go now.